Great, so question three. Uh, use Simpson's rule with four strips to find an approximation to that expression, giving your answer correct three simple figures. You've got to read the questions carefully, because quite a few of you missed the square root sign there and did e to the x as your value in Simpson's rule. Um, four strips. Now, four strips means we need to have five values, because you need to have a value either side. So I, I'm still going to say, let's do a little table. And e to the root x is our value that's going there. If we're doing our five values, <coughs> 0 and 2 at either end, then in the middle there must be 1, and in the middle of those two it must be 0.5, and that must be 1.5. So what we're putting into our table, if we are doing it in the table, is e to the zero, which will be one, e to the root a half, e to the root one, e to the root 1.5, and e to the power of root two. So they're the values. So when we put it together into Simpson's rule, the answer, the area of the integral is approximately equal to, now what do we do here? One third times the step size, which is a half, times the first plus the last, so one plus e root two, plus four times the next little set, so four times e to the root five plus e to the root four point five, plus twice e to the one, Close upon brackets. Carefully stick that in the calculator and uh, it came out as well. It came out as 5.38. Correct three significant figures. Um, and uh, the marks here were for a calculation in the right form, even if you had slightly the wrong y values in there. Um, a few people used uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 as they, as they did that, but you still got, even if you used 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 as you might say, you still got the, the method mark. Um, and then as long as you got that method mark, you were getting an accuracy mark for the bits inside the square brackets, an accuracy mark for the bit outside the square brackets, as in 1 sixth being there, and a mark for your answer of 5.38. Now, part two said, deduce an approximation to that. Now one person did Simpson's rule all over again and got the correct answer. And, and that was a kind of special case for doing this. Uh, it did get both of the marks for doing that. But it's not what the question wanted. Uh, to deduce that, well let's think about what this means. We are we know that we can split up integrals. You didn't have to show this amount of working out. But for part two, what we're actually doing is the integral of what well, it's 1 plus 10 e to the x, isn't it? e to the root x. That was the question, wasn't it? I can't see it. Yeah. So, so actually, the, what we're thinking here is you know we can split up integrals. That's the same as the integral of 1 between 0 and 2 plus 10 times the integral of e to the root x. <coughs> between 0 and 2. That's how the integral splits up. Now the integral of 1 between 0 and 2 is 2. If you integrate 1, you get x. If you sub in the value, you sub in 2, you sub in 0 and subtract. That bit is worth 2. And this bit is 10 times our answer for part 1. So what we're looking for is 2 plus 10 times 5.38, and you get both of the marks if you do 2 plus 10 times your answer to part 1. And so that's, if, if that was the only thing you put down, 2 plus 10 times your answer, that was still worth both of the marks you completely carried forward from this. So that is 55.8. 10 times that would be 53.8 plus the 2. Um, there was one method mark only for an answer of 54.8, which was doing 1 plus 10 times that. 
So 54.8 scored one, <coughs> but 55.8 correct answer scored two. You did this Simpsons rule, didn't you? And got the correct answer, which also was worth two. Okay? There we go.